Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about uh, more about uh, discovering the information relevant to the help. Uh, let's see, I want to find some kind of command within the PowerShell and how would I get it, that information? So that's the, uh, so that's one part. And the other part would be the, definitely this uh, PowerShell, uh, whatever the Windows PowerShell we are talking about, is has the get hyphen help is the command. That's the first command, get hyphen help, which you need to know, remember, this is the only one command I request you to remember, get hyphen help. And this will actually give the, all the information relevant to the help. How to use the help, for example, uh, you could check out here, uh, you can, you know, go for the online help for that and uh, you can also get help uh, information of any of the command. So in this case, uh, if I want to uh, get the help for maybe a command called ls example, I can simply hit enter. That would actually gives me the information about that specific uh, command. What exactly this ls? ls is the uh, alias definitely, but the actual command is the get hyphen child item. Uh, which is uh, the command and this uh, will give me the information you know uh, here the description uh, we can read as it gets the files and the folders in a file system so if I type as ls it's gonna give me the all the uh, dir information right so that's the command uh, which we have uh, typed here so let's type uh, di not the dis okay yeah so what I've typed is here uh, it might be accidentally I typed but you know what happened is anything uh, started with here get hyphen uh, help with the DIS so anything is started with the DIS or it contains a DIS it's actually re uh, reporting back for example here DIS is there here DIS is available so let's um, more specific we can what we can do is we can uh, use a wild character like star it means anything anything uh, which contains for example services uh, service example and uh, then hit enter that would actually list me anything that contains service in the commands so here you can see here uh, get uh, is the verb definitely the first things are the verb uh, which you which get means here you're actually pulling the information you also see somewhere here set that means you are actually configuring the value so you can do the uh, uh, either getting information or setting the setting up the information you can also do the uh, restarting and the resuming but if you look at the, here the second part uh, of the noun which is a service specific so in my case I'm actually looking for a service which contains uh, uh, information anything anywhere as a service so here you can check out here the service is there uh, that's why uh, it is actually listed so tomorrow if I want to you know filter out any further uh, information for example I wanted to uh, filter uh, maybe like a processors example uh, what I can do here is I just replace the service with the uh, processors here I should be able to get all the processes information and similarly if I want to find out anything any command is available uh, relevant to the firewall maybe I would like to configure maybe Windows firewall so I can check out here firewall specific information like I can configure a new firewall uh, by uh, going here new uh, net firewall and get uh, uh, net firewall settings for example if I want to get the settings I can simply type here and they get the uh, firewall uh, Settings. So this would actually gives me the information. For example, here it says that hey, global IP config setting is the name, and the exceptions and uh, whatever the configuration has been done uh, with this, uh, it's actually showing me. So in future, if I want to, uh, uh, if I want to find out any of the commands, uh, I can use the wild characters like this to find any of the commands. Uh, for example, now let's say I want to find out network or specific. Uh, network and uh, let's see you know what are the commands are available you have the uh, like a VPN specific and you also have the network switch specific or uh, different commands are available so out of that whatever the relevant command you are looking for it you can choose that command and further level drill down so that you get the more help for example um, if I want to you know enable the network uh, switch feature I want to uh, get help uh, and here I can see that enable network switch feature so 
when I type here that specific command, it's only specifically sh giving the information what is this command. Uh, it's the command name and enables the features of your network search. Uh, and how to use that, like stop, continue, inquiry, ignore, all that uh, possible information. You can also uh, get this um, by performing all these uh, command lines or the syntaxes which are possibly you can construct it. So it's so easy if you're trying to um, Play with the help and for you uh, let me show you one more uh, information like if I type as get hyphen help it's actually uh, giving uh, in a full way for example if you see here I typed here so from here to here one page and second page and I'm in the third page almost so it went uh, uh, full it displayed all the information what happens if I type as a help actually help and get help both are the same but help gives me page by page if you know the help command and the DOS um, or if you know the uh, command as man uh, in the Unix or Linux environment it's one and the same help and the man so I'm just giving getting the information page by page information so I can just click on either spacebar or I you know hitting enter so that I get that uh, full information by paging uh, changes similarly I can say man which is uh, nothing but help command so you can um, choose either get hyphen help or help or man so one and the same for example uh, we tried we try to play with this so let's say uh, if I give here as the man uh, and then it's the same thing uh, it's actually searching for the information and it is pulling out man processes. So wherever the processes are available, it's getting the same information. So I can check out here as a help uh, and then hit enter. It's giving the same information if you can you know, check out here. So one and the same information. Uh, why, I, why I did actually make this entire video is we can't remember all the commands which are uh, within the PowerShell. It's very hard to remember because we are talking about thousands uh, thousands of commands which are uh, almost not possible for, for us to remember. So the best way is uh, best way is to get help with a specific uh, with a specific to a non-specific. For example, you are looking for the processor or service or setting up the IP configuration or maybe you are playing with the users. Uh, such information you can you know search for that so that it would be uh, easy for you to get uh, and play uh, against to that help. For example, here the users. So you can create a new user. Uh, you can check out here new. So new means it's going to create a local user account uh, with the command line. So if you are uh, once you got the command, you can play with that command as uh, how to you know uh, use the syntax and choose the syntax and then uh, you can play the command uh, to construct that uh, syntax. Uh, for example here it's also asking for the password string and other information and you can also query for the what if information. So these are the informations you can you know try out uh, with the help. If you're looking for what kind of you know verb we can use, uh, what we can do is actually there's a command uh, called get hyphen verb. But let's uh, try to get that information directly from our help. So uh, what I would do is I would just type as help, and anything which has the verb, uh, let's see, uh, is there any command? So it would actually sorry, uh, it's a spell mistake help. So I can search for the help, and uh, I got the help here. Get hyphen help get hyphen verb so I can get that so you can check out here how many of the commands uh, are available as the verb format like you can add you can get you can find you can format you can set you can open you can uh, go for a new push or different options you have as a verb including saving stopping and uh, the many things and uh, it, it all depends you know on a situation where uh, you want to you know, work on it so any of the commands um, which are going to verb and noun format right so these are the verbs uh, which you can you know uh, find out uh, out of this command and this would definitely help you out once you try to uh, start the uh, once you start the uh, finding of any of the commands it would be mostly with the uh, verb uh, verb is the first uh, character which will contain like you know add clear and other and then the noun uh, which comes uh, like you know we have discussed so far in all these uh, like uh, maybe you know starting processor uh, hyphen and then once we have uh, built that uh, specific command uh, for example here new local user uh, for example I want to create a new user account 
then help hyphen new and then I get the syntax information and I would be you not know, typing that specific syntax so that new user account gets created this is how it's gonna work and uh, I hope this is useful for you and thank you for watching this